Whoop whoop, Valheim News is here, light in the forge. We've got a brand new look at more items that's going to be coming as part of the Mistlands update. And check out this brand new forge that's incoming. I'm guessing it's still in-game art, we're going to read the whole blog. But I did just want to show you guys this straight away. It does look amazing. Obviously once the in-game asset is actually done and completed, I'm sure it's going to look so, so good. But I think the art for this is super cool. It does look like we're going to get a whole bunch of new plants and fungi and stuff coming to the game as well. So leave a like, make sure you subscribe for the best in survival games news and of course Valheim once we get even more content. So they started off saying it's fun seeing the reaction to the stuff they've been showing off in the last few weeks. And of course this was one that I showed you guys last week when Jonathan, the programmer, showed off some of the brand new traps, the troll traps. They're tinkering around with the damage value still for this. But it doesn't look like it might be made out of copper and maybe some other resource. And will it be good for maybe trapping loxes? And we get a tiny little glimpse of Richard the creator showing off some of the props to get some more inspiration. But yeah, this is going to be the new Mistlands crafting bench that's going to help craft brand new weapons. So there is going to be a whole complete set. We know we've seen the bone bow as well as obviously the crossbow. But this looks great. It definitely looks something a bit more Viking epic. But of course it is still concept art at the moment so things may change. And it looks like they are mixing it up. There are blue mushrooms in the game. You can spawn in, people have used them in mods and all sorts. But we've never actually seen them in game properly. Well it looks like they really are changing it. Not just going with a simple recolor up, but actually new models. These are going to be found exclusively in the Mistlands. And obviously they're going to be hoping to create brand new recipes. So that's really interesting. I love the fact they're fleshing stuff out a lot more. They're not keeping it too simple. And lastly, they finish off the newsletter just by talking about the fact that they've still got some issues with Cloud Sync. They were trying to resolve it with a patch, but it's still in the works. And they do want to make sure that the engine has had maybe an upgrade, especially before releasing the Mistlands. It's not delaying anything. They're just simply waiting for the right time. I do believe for Unity to possibly update so that they then bring in the cloud sync issue fix for it at the same time and obviously make sure this is all fixed way before the Mistlands update hits. And since this is all concept art, I think we'll get a people crying, oh, have they not shown off concept art? Clearly they don't want things too spoiled and up until the last minute, I'm sure there may be some revisions. So I prefer this. This is better than nothing, getting some glimpses of stuff, but it's still not too spoilerific as things may change with the design of it in the end. This is exactly what Valheim needs for long time players because I do understand they do get a bit fed up not maybe getting as much news. This is a great compromise. And shout out to building them up from Erendor. This looks pretty cool, nice and homely, proper traditional sort of big Viking lodge. Grimcore has also shown off a tiny little glimpse of possibly the Mistlands biome as well. Apparently you're going to be going skinny dipping in the waters. It's so a bit of a change in making the Mistlands feel not as threatening or horrific. That's the vibe I've always got. It'd be like some scary area to go into. But with its oversized bonsai trees, maybe some friendly colourful mushrooms, and now possibly swimming around frolicking naked in the sun and the water, maybe the Mistlands won't be so bad at all. Valheim also celebrated being named the best debut at the Nordic Game Awards last week. So that's a great little achievement. They deserve lots of rewards. Gotta say though, uh, the Nordic Game Awards they need to sort out your awards. This is like something I would cook up in primary school, I swear. Where's the statues? Where's the ivory horns? Alright, not ivory, but you get the idea. But regardless, it's nice to see them getting some love. Big question of course is, when Valheim mislands? We're coming up to June already. I don't think we're going to see it before August, to be honest. But you never, never know. So until we get more news, I'll see you at Bags for more usual survival game stuff. If you're a big fan of Vikings, then maybe go and check out my new Ark Viking series. We'll be covering the brand new Viking themed map that's going to be releasing next month as well. Currently doing a version run on the PC mod before it gets revamped for everyone. Laters!